All right, Joy, thanks for that. One of the first cities in the state seeing the once-in-a-lifetime event is Eagle Pass. Eagle Pass, Texas. Our meteorologist, Alex Garcia, brings us what we can expect to see out there today. And Alex, it's not only the sun, it's also two planets that we're going to be able to see a little better, right? Well, you know, I'm not so sure we're going to be able to see those. Uh -oh. <laughs> if you can see uh -oh. the sky behind me right now. We're, uh, we're deep into cloud cover, lower level clouds. There's also some mid-level and some high level clouds. And I just got through looking at some of the latest uh, computer models that have been rolling through. And, you know, we, we'd have to get extremely lucky to get a break in these clouds. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen today, uh, particularly even right up into the eclipse time. It looks like these clouds are gonna hang around. But if we were to get a good break and it were to be clear, yeah, you could see several planets if you look just right. Uh, but today, I think in reality, we probably will not see the actual eclipse, but what we'll experience is the darkening of the sky. So yes, it will get dark and it will get chilly and it's chilly right now. So it may even get colder than what it is right now. And of course, uh, we could see differences in sounds and of course the bugs and the animals uh, that would start to come out because they think it's nighttime. But I think that's gonna be the bigger experience here today. It's not so much actually viewing the eclipse uh, firsthand. Now, Alex, so we've, we've been checking with our other folks and they, they see something a little bit different. They're seeing the clearing skies, but what is the mood like where you are? Is it like, Oh no, there's a lot of clouds or what are the, what, cause I know a lot of students had a lot of, uh, no, a lot of hope for this. Yeah, right, right. There's not a whole lot of people here yet. They're still setting up. Things will start to get active right about the 10 o'clock hour. Okay. Uh, the breaks are a little bit different further back over toward your direction. We're hoping for a little drier air here as too. But uh, for now, at least what I'm seeing, the, the, the clouds will likely hang in there. Uh, there's a kind of a small break up, a, up like here I can see, but I'm not so sure we're gonna see a really, really good break today. We'll get lucky to see something. How many students did you say are gonna take part of these experiments there? Uh, right now, they, they, were th they were thinking in the several hundreds uh, before they, uh, before they uh, actually closed down the gates, but it's all gonna be full, all the way in this backup area here. I don't know if you can see that. They've set up some solar tents a little bit further back up along the, the track, and they're setting more uh, activity areas up here. So more than likely, there's gonna be several hundred out here, along with the NASA scientists, and they'll all be uh, doing some of these activities about the sun. All right, Alex Garcia, appreciate it. Good luck with those clouds. Get them out, get them out. You're the, you're the weather guy. You yeah, can tell I've them how to move, I got my fingers right? crossed. <laughs> <laughs> there, you go, there you go, it's like, get out of the way. You got Mother Nature's number, just give her a jingle. <laughs> He's, he's going to yeah, blame that not? one on, on Siobhan. She's the one in the studio, so <laughs> blame it on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, there appreciate it. Thank you so much.